Hello and welcome back to part two of the making of this three tier little bowl of Tasmanian oak, Tasmanian sassafras and Tasmanian hewn pine. So I hope you enjoy it. Just move the um, tool rest in a little bit now. It's getting a little bit too far away. Just changing to uh, do a little bit of work on this back edge with my uh, spindle gauge. This is starting to look very nice. What I want to try and do here is do concave here off the, the the base then come to a uh, like a peak or a lip or maybe maybe a slight bead and then a very very slight concave up to the tip of the rim at least that's what i'm going to try and do i think what i need to do now is true up this face before I go any further. internal tenon in there um, I don't know if some I just prefer to use internal tenons that I that I do external I find that they're much more stable and um, well, I just prefer to use them and that's how to make an internal tenon I use the uh, the angle of the skew it just so happens to be the correct angle for my tenon on my chuck. I'm just going to use my round nail scraper now to uh, just clean up inside here. You can probably see now the sh sort of shape that I'm I'm looking for with this bowl. But look at these contrasting colours. Beautiful. I'm just going to sand up the back side of this a bit now, and um, I think I'll take it, turn it around, put it on the chuck, and then we'll start getting stuck into the top side here. gap between the hewn pine and the sassafras that I'm trying to machine down through past but uh, I don't want to go too I really don't want to go too much um, take too much off now okay I've uh, turned uh, the material or now the bowl around and I've got it in my scroll chuck and um, I'm now going to start to bore the inside out I 
I just like to make a bit of a start with the drill before I put uh, a speed bit in. sufficient from the inside with my speed bit. I'm going to use my um, spindle gauge now just to uh, face this off and uh, then I'll use my bowl gauge to start removing the material from the inside. I'm machining the hewn pine end grain and it's unbelievably tough for something that's well pine it's really really tough stuff to um, try and machine but uh, we'll, we'll get there I think <laughs> Some of the stuff out of there. Yeah, just have to stop film and cut in because um, got a, some cracks appearing, and uh, just had to get some CA glue and put in there. Yeah, put a little bit in this one too. the finished little bowl. Beautiful colouring. Oak, sassafras and hue and pine. So that's all for this week and uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching the making of this little bowl the CNC router which I think in the future they're going to be popping up in people's workshops doing all sorts of different jobs. 
So, um, I hope you've liked what you've seen today. Please subscribe, press like, the little red box down there as always, that will take you straight to my YouTube channel where there is a lot of videos now on wood turning, CNC router, art cam, Mac 3 and different other shop jobs that I do around So thank here. you very much for joining me and I'll see you again next time. So bye for now. Thank you.